So two brands, you know, an hour or two ago that I had never heard of. And the comps on eBay for both of these brands was significant. Arguably the best thrift store find I've had this year. All right, a new day. Welcome to Wednesday, Courtney. Um, I wanted to start off this video by talking about a few things that I found uh, yesterday. One of them actually came through, so I go to a run club uh, every Thursday, every Saturday, and one of those people in that run club said, or basically caught wind actually of what I do um, with selling on eBay, and they said, we've got a Wii and a bunch of games. If you want them, you can literally just have them. Um, they go into the UK next year and they're cleaning out the house. So I was able to get my hands on all of this Wii gear um, off my run club friend. And I said, no, I said, I'll definitely pay you. And I paid them $20. I just said, I'll transfer you 20 bucks. Um, but if we break this down really quickly, they've got Mario Kart, Wii Sports Resort. I don't know if you guys have heard about this game, but it's worth $60. So, you know, what's that? Probably $100 more, more 120 yeah. yeah. 120 bucks worth of value uh, in just those three. And then she also had a massive collection of Just Dance, and I actually think that we're gonna go and list them up as a bundle for $50, $10 each. I think they're worth about $15 if you did them individually, but I think if we do them as just a big collective bundle for 50 bucks, one shipping cost, that might be the answer for that. Um, then I broke down these games to be not worth a lot. Um, so those Wii games there weren't worth too much at all, but there was a console, some nunchucks uh, over here, uh, and then a bunch of controllers. So I'm just gonna split it up and do the nunchucks separately. Do those two separately, and then I've got cords, a sensor bar, everything else regarding a Wii bundle. So that will be a Wii bundle. These will be listed individually, and then we'll do a Just Dance. So, you know, I reckon there's about $250 there that came from my friend at Run Club. So it's just amazing of all the different ways that you can source items to sell. And that exactly the sorts of items that we want to be selling as well. The next thing as well is this collection right here. I might take this over to the table. So this, this big collection of PS4 games, have a look at the price tag. You've got $2 price tags on all of these at RSPCA. Now, um, the guys um, at RSPCA put these on the shelf literally midday yesterday. And uh, a viewer of the channel was in there and messaged me and said, I don't sell video games, but if you're interested, Matt, these are all $2. They've just hit the shelf. You should run over there. So I did. There's 15 games. All of those games that we've got in a big pile there aren't worth a lot of money. Um, so we're just going to do that as a big bundle. I'm thinking 10 games. I'm thinking $70, uh, just because PS4 is pretty popular and it's obviously pre-Christmas. But these games are actually worth a little bit of money. We've got NBA 2K22. I think that was worth about 20. Uh, we've got Bloodborne. That was worth about 20. This one was the best, actually. Crisis Remastered Trilogy. It was worth about $35. And then a couple of other 20s as well. We've got Diablo, Reaper of Souls, and then a Call of Duty as well. So, you know, that is $80. That's 35 so that's 100 and... How, how bad's my math? 100, oh. 115 Yeah. Um, 115 plus 70 So $185 yesterday in PlayStation 4 games that Courtney can now list up today. Um, and we only paid $30. So... That was awesome. We had really, really good results that came through yesterday with limited effort of having to go out and source. Um, so I'll put these over here for you to do today, Courtney. A um, bit of a look at the numbers that came through at the end of Monday, which was our last video. Um, I'll put a bit of B-roll over this, Courtney, so don't feel the need to zoom in on this. Mm -hmm. um, $285 came in on Tuesday, yesterday. And then so far today, we've done $110. So these are the numbers that we're actually trying to target. We're trying to do 13,000, as, as you guys know from previous videos. We're on 5,821. Uh, so that's an average of uh, $410 a day. Now the big numbers, Courtney needs to list 75 items and I need to find 61 items. That's including the fact that those listings, because that's the discrepancy of 14. So Courtney's got 14 there, which means I now need 61 items. Uh, to find, which is going to be the majority of this video. It's going to be going out, sourcing, trying to find 61 items to complete the week. And ideally, we'd like to do it between today and tomorrow and be done by Thursday. Thursday, 5 o'clock is the goal to have that complete. Um, so we're going to film it all today. We've got a few items here that I'm going to take you through as well for a bit of a what sold. All right, we had a Wii Revolver. 
Um, so this one here sold for, it sold for $18, but it also sold for $25 international postage uh, off to the USA. So that's really good. It's off to Florida. Uh, just a little accessory for the Nintendo Wii. Um, cool little sale there. Um, that'll probably cost us $20, I think, to ship off to the US. So we might make an extra five, five it might be an extra five, depending on what the shipping cost exactly was. Yeah. Um, so that was good, 18 on that. That's just a little throwaway item in a big bundle that we had and we just thought we'd list it individually. Um, so good to see it sell. Uh, some DVDs, we've sold 24. We've got seasons one to five and that one sold for $32. So 32 bucks on a, on a DVD bundle, and it is five DVDs, so that'll go into a small satchel for $8.52. Uh, we're on a band five Australia Post discount. That's why it's $8.52. Um, this one here was, again, of another Run Club member. Um, one of my mates in the Run Club, he gave me a bunch of clothing a little while ago, and this Santa Cruz, brand new with tags, singlet sold for a $20 price as well. So um, he actually gifted them um, these clothing items to me, so... There was no cost involved with that, and we got a $20 turnaround in a couple of weeks. Uh, so that was good. Um, now, a viewer of the channel uh, was watching the Monday vlog when I was harping on the fact that I'm not a big fan of these uh, Funko Pops anymore. And um, he's gone ahead and said he'll buy these for his daughter, which I thought was really nice of him. Um, so he's bought them for $35. They're going to go into a cardboard box. Very, very easy to ship off. It's probably going to be able to fit into one of these boxes here. We'll just put some bubble wrap and some butcher's paper around it. And that'll ship off fine, but I thought $35 for that was excellent, uh, considering we're trying to clean them out. There was another one there as well. That one sold for about $19, trying to sell that off pretty quick. Um, that Rafael Nadal hat that we spoke of the other day, Courtney, mm. I think I said to you, came through in a best offer. Yeah. Um, he, ended up, he ended up taking the best offer. Yeah. So I think it was priced at $30 to $35, and then that we had a 15% off special that we're running on shoes and accessories, mm -hmm. which brought it down to $25. And then he tried to say 15, and then he tried to say 20. I'm like, you've already got 15% off with the special. Why are yeah. you trying to offer less? Yeah. Um, but he took, a, he took a $25 best offer. So that's going to be out the door. Another hat gone. And then I don't even know how much these sold for, but they weren't a lot. I think they were both $15 each. We've got a Five Nights at Freddy's book. And we've got a random Wii Play motion game that I think sold for $15 as well. So some bread and butter stuff. It's not, a, uh, it's not a crazy overnight of sales, and that's why we're only seeing 285 yesterday and then only $110 today. It's not, it's not significant, but it, has, it is pushing us closer to our $13,000 goal, and I've just got to go out now and do some thrifting to find some more stuff. Today's thrift mission has got off to a flying start. It was the red colourway that piqued my interest initially. Sometimes these turn out to not be worth a lot of money, but even the sole here with this big A logo, it, it caught my eye and I needed to do some research. There's the brand in there, Anachik by Took. Let me know if you've heard this brand before, but there are some really good comps in the hundreds of dollars worth of value. So I'm pretty confident with a US size 9 being a great size for women's shoes, albeit there is a little bit of wear as you can see on the inner lining there. I think the outer sole, the outer wear of the condition, the fact that it's got the zip that price matched the $130 comp, this is a great purchase to kick off the day at just $3. A second brand that I've never heard of before, guys, we've got Tony Lama. Let me know if you've heard of this brand. I did some research as soon as I saw the brand. Uh, Tony Lama was going for between $100 to $200 for their boots in pre-owned condition. So uh, in store for $28, I thought that was definitely worth going ahead with. However, it was a size 4, which isn't the best shoe size. It is a little bit small for my liking, but the comps were just so strong I had to go ahead with it. I've also got this as well. This was a FIFA Women's World Cup volunteer jacket, Australia, New Zealand, 2023. So it's just finished up. Um, it was brand new with tags, Adidas branding. I really like the look of it until I saw a $49 price tag in store. And then I had a quick look on eBay and it was about the same on eBay. So they're definitely checking their pricing. So two brands, you know, an hour or two ago that I had never heard of, Anachik and Tony Lama. And the comps on eBay for both of these brands was significant. Significant enough that even with a couple of limitations about each pair, I still had to go ahead with because the comps were just so damn high on these two brands. Obviously, the crumbling of the inner Anachik boot, the, you can see that it was a little bit worn away there. Uh, I don't think that's enough to stop somebody wanting to go ahead with the purchase because the soles are so good. 
uh, and the, the red leather as well is in really good condition. There's no tears or marks on them. So I think the Anachik boots and also being a size nine, which is a really good size for shoes, uh, means that I could list that up for $150 based on the comps that I was seeing. And then the other one that we had obviously with the Tony Lama, having never heard of that boot before, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are fully aware of how good that brand is. However, for me, even though I've done shoes for three years, it's literally the first time I've come across the brand. Uh, but being a leather boot, I, it looked initially like an Ariat boot. I thought it might have been an Ariat boot and I was going to pick it up regardless of how much they were asking for it uh, because Ariat boots just sell so well. But Tony Lama seems to sell equally as well as Ariat. So I think the only limitation with that one uh, is the fact that it is a smaller size, size four. When I'm playing in women's shoes, I like to try and buy uh, shoes that are between a size eight and 10. I say like, I don't mean that's the only shoes that I buy. I just enjoy finding the sizes eight to 10 more than the other sizes because they generally sell faster. Um, if we're talking men's shoes, I like to find anything between a 10, 11 or 12. Uh, they sell really well for me, a slightly bigger size. So, you know, we spent $31 there on two pairs of shoes, brands that I've never heard of before, but I'm very confident off the comps that we should be able to get about $150 each for those pairs of shoes. So $300 in value out of just two fines for a $30 spend. It's been a very good start to the day. And well, that good start continued when I went into the next store. If you have a look at this, I don't really typically do a lot of clothing. But I found a brand, Swandry is the name of it, and if you find it in a wool uh, material, it can sell for two to three hundred dollars. Pretty crazy for a single piece of clothing. These are only eight dollars in store, and there were actually, believe it or not, two of them. Um, so I, I believe these ones just being a flannelette, they aren't wool. Um, I should be able to get about fifty bucks each. So we're talking a hundred dollars worth of value for this Swandry. Uh, it's it's a New Zealand brand. For those that are curious, that might have not heard of the brand before. Um, so have a look at some comps on eBay for the brand. It is pretty crazy. Uh, these Jordan shorts are always a, a pretty decent pickup. Again, like the Swandry shirts, we had a, a couple of same colorways uh, in these Jordan shorts. But uh, look, the comps on eBay can be quite strong. You can get 40 odd dollars for them. Um, however, in store today, we're looking at $20 for a single pair of shorts. So that's a little bit steep for me. I just don't think there would have been any profit in that. For $25 though, this was a Newcastle Jets, uh, this was a New South Wales Cup Rugby League jersey. It's got the GPS pouch and I've harped on that for years on this channel that you need to be looking for that because that shows that it's a player issued jersey. New South Wales Cup jerseys on eBay were going for about 50. I think we can push a little bit more than that. I'm gonna buy this and try and list it up for about 100 bucks. And I'm pretty confident that we'll get that. So that was an awesome find. I jumped into the shoe section and I found these Adidas uh, high tops and they were $15, but I really love the fact they were in such good condition. Um, you wouldn't need to clean these up or touch them up in any way. You could literally just put some shoe horns in and start taking some photos. Um, I've got some other shoes here, as you can see here. They all looked really good condition off the shelf. Um, these are the, the Nike, uh, sorry, the Under Armour Hover and uh, the, uh, the Menace 3s. Uh, the condition is pretty decent. They're a $10 purchase price, although there was a bit of heel burn, as you can see here. Um, not sure as to the reason why you get a heel burn the way this shoe has. It's a, sort of a strange place, but I've ended up picking it up. This one here, again, it would have been the same person donating the shoes because I've noticed there is actually a similar heel burn on this shoe as well. And upon inspection, it seemed like this heel burn was a whole lot more significant. And quality, as I touch on all the time, is so, so important when it comes to selling shoes. So that right there, albeit the rest of the shoe was in good condition, I had to leave it behind. Uh, this one here though, we've got the Nike. These are the Reacts, they're the Mylar 2s. You can get about $40 for these free postage. I'm paying $12 in store. Really good soles on them, so I thought that was a no-brainer. Uh, there we are, putting those uh, other ones back onto the shelf. But this one here, Vija. Vija is a brand that I had not heard of before. I did some research on this thing, and I should be able to get about $70 to $80. It actually turned out to be the best shoe on the rack. And often if the op shop staff are looking up comps, um, you'll see a slightly higher price in store. And that's what I saw there, $25 on those Vijas in store, but definitely worth it. Uh, these were only $10, um, charged $10 for these, and I'll, I'll be charging about 35 to 40 on eBay. So some pretty good shoes there to round it out. So there you go. 
Another few items found. I ended up leaving the Adidas high tops. Just I've just noticed that they take a little bit longer to sell in the past when I have bought them. They do sell, but $15, they probably would have sold for $40, $45. Might have taken a little bit. It was the 50-50 call, I think, that, that pair, and considering I found all of the other shoes, I just left them behind. So we ended up buying four shoes for $57. Bought quite a number of shoes now today, and I didn't even know about Vija. Found a third pair of, a third brand of shoes that I've never heard of that sells for some fantastic money on eBay. So it just goes to show after, you know, three years of doing this full time, you can still be learning every single day out here. Hopefully these three brands today have helped you as well and you can put them onto your list and go out and find those same items yourself. The high value brands just continue to come my way on this little thrift trip, guys. We've got the Doc Martens here. Now, these are a fantastic pair of shoes that I'm paying $25 for, but the soles are in great condition and the comps on eBay for Doc Martens are generally around about the $100 worth of a price point. Uh, these are a women's size seven uh, and I think they are in excellent condition, so I'm happy with that. Uh, Megasterium, this is uh, a book set. There's four of them here. I don't think it's a complete set, but the four was selling for about $30 on eBay. Now they're $2 in store, that's $8 in store. So I was gonna say no, but then I spied that little sign up the top left there, 50% off all books. So I've gone ahead and taken those. That's only $4 into $30, pretty good return. Uh, this one here as well was a good find. Harry Potter, the complete series, uh, film collection on DVD. These ones here I've sold probably five or six times before and they I generally get between $40 to $45. So to find them in store here for just the eight bucks, that's really nice to see a very high average sale price DVD. I did find this one as well, which talking about high price DVDs, this was another one. Uh, now I've actually spied the Acorn. Acorn Media typically does well for me. So it wasn't the title, it was actually the production company. Pie in the Sky, the complete uh, set here, um, that one was going for about 50 odd dollars as well. So not a bad pickup in the DVDs. We're talking about $100 there, plus the books for 30. There's $130 that we've been able to pick up. I paid $6 for Pie in the Sky, so some pretty good value there. Uh, this Victoria Bitter, one of the best beers in Australia. Prove me wrong, tell me what's better. Uh, but $30 in store, I had to go ahead and leave them behind. They were too expensive. Uh, this might have been the best find I've had in quite a while and ultimately made the thrift trip my, probably my biggest ever, I think, this year, to be honest with you. Um, there is some significant value in these things that you're seeing here. They are Transformer action figures, and they are Hasbro, uh, Tommy, Tommy and Hasbro uh, as a manufacturing company of these toys, but it was from the era of 2008 to 2010. Um, now, I didn't know anything about these things while I'm looking at them here on the shelf, and I needed to go back home and do some further research. So it became a question of which ones should I purchase because they were all priced up for $15 each, which, to be honest, initially I thought was a little bit steep. And there's a good uh, seven or eight of them there at that $15 price tag. But as you can see here, I have put them all into the bag, and I am buying them all. Well guys, I think we might have just come away with an absolutely huge haul of Transformer action figures. I'm gonna shoot back home right now and I'm gonna really dive into all of these just to see how much value we've actually been able to pick up. All right guys, uh, Courtney and I have just spent the last 30 minutes going through uh, the comps on all of these individual crazy Transformers that we have found in the thrift. Now we've paid $100, I think it was a good twenty odd dollars of worth of other stuff in that store spent 120 a hundred dollars was gone into these transformers so um we've been to be honest pretty shocked with how much these things are actually worth and i'll take you through some of them now um we'll kick it off with a big guy this one this one right here do you want to just read out we'll put some comps up on screen of the research information that we found on this um this is a star Star Scream. Star Scream. He's the leader class Star Scream Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons. Um, now I know I don't know Transformers at all, but Courtney is an absolute whiz on Transformers. She no, loves it. Who love were you it. saying before that you loved? Rosie Huntington Whiteley. We'll put Everyone, a down. if you've watched Transformers, you know who I'm talking about. I haven't. She's like she hot? British. Yeah, she's so hot. Um, but yeah, she's in. Uh, as if, as if. 
As if what? You don't know her. Yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't you seen. You wouldn't her. if I showed you though. I will put a screen grab up, and I'm sure I'll. Uh, I'm sure I'll recognise her. But um, this one is worth 170. 170 dollars for this thing. This uh, jet fighter jet. Mm. 170 bucks. I think that's just crazy. Uh, we've got a couple of Optimus Primes here. Uh, now, they are different, but they are the same, if that makes sense. Uh, so there's, they're all the same color tone, but this one here has got some silver on it. This one here is more grayed out. Um, so And there's a little bit different on the sword there as well. They've both got the same combination code. Uh, it's like a C... Where was it? It was C... 1063B. And they both say C1063B, but we were looking on eBay and there were some comps similar to these guys going for, again, similar to the, the Jet uh, for about $160, $170. Uh, and they do talk um, as well. Oh, actually, I'm not going to make him talk. My butt. There's one. <laughs> just lying down there. So they're 170 odd each. So let's just call it 150 each. 150, 150, and 170 on those two. This guy here, what's this one worth? He is worth 70. 70. What's his name? Mega Megatron. Megatron Revenge Fallen Voyager Complete Hasbro 2009. 70 bucks for that dude right there, which is pretty crazy. He's not even that big either, so mm -hmm. that won't cost a lot to post. I don't think we've got a comp um, here on this one, but how much was this worth? I think it was 115 $115 on an exact match that Courtney found earlier for this one right here. Yeah. Um, cement truck. Yeah, the big cement truck. So I don't know who he turns into just yet, but there was comps around the 100 to $120 on that one there. This this one was another good one too, right? The Bumblebee? Bumblebee, yeah. He was also 70 70 bucks on that Bumblebee, and you can see all the the way he transforms on the bottom there. So, 70 bucks on that one. This one was 35 mm -hmm. Optimus Prime. Another Optimus Prime. So, the third Optimus Prime truck that we've got here. Uh, but this version was going for about 35 bucks. Mm -hmm. So, again, they are complete. I should say that all of them are in complete condition. There's no missing pieces. So, really good rare collectible items, except for that one, yeah. Yeah. That one's missing its little... um. One of these little bits on top is missing over there. Apart from that, mm. they're all complete. This one here, you want to hold that one up? Mm -hmm. This one's a, uh, it's a, like a weapon accessory, I believe. Um, and it goes for about $25. So pretty handy. We'll be able to fold him up and shoot him off for 25 bucks. This guy here was going for about 25 bucks as well. Um, so 25 on him. These two here, we haven't looked into just yet. Mm. That one's a little like weapon accessory as well. Um, can't be worth too much. But this guy, this was Sea Spray. And we could see some comps going brand new for about $80. So Sea Spray, I'm going to try and list him up for 50 I reckon 50 bucks based on the price points of all of these. I think it's about $50 in total. Um, so yeah, Sea Spray, complete as well. There's 12 listings, what I should say. So this will be one day's worth of listings into the eBay store. And we did some maths earlier, Courtney. What's it all worth? $850. $850. So to have spent 100 bucks in the thrift to turn mm. it into $850 um, is really, really cool. Mm. Awesome. And probably arguably the best thrift store find I've had this year, turning 100 into $850 in one item. Mm. Um, so pretty cool stuff. And Courtney's going to go ahead and list all this up now based on the research that we've just done. And I'd be interested to see how big the Transformers community is out there because I think the movie only recently came out not too long ago. Yeah. I think it was a new one that came out not mm. that long ago. Um, so yeah, awesome finds. So what that means with an updated whiteboard is that we now need 35. We were able to pick up 26 listings in total, which Courtney's chipping away at right now. The post has been knocked over. Uh, so Courtney's so far done eight listings. She's dropped off the post and we've now got 35 listings for me to go and find. And Courtney's got 67 listings to list up today and tomorrow. Um, so things are, are tracking along really well. I'm just most excited about the quality of listings that we're able to pick up today that are going to be going into eBay. If that's $850 worth of Transformers, the other stuff is probably worth, I would say, five to $600 in total. Potentially more considering some of those boots were going for $150. 
Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to get you on board. 25,000 subs by Christmas is what we're aiming for. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.